Hey Rust friends, what's up? It's Edie and welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome back. Okay, so it is spooky season, so it's only right that we start off our makeup Halloween series with the one and only, very nice, very evil, Dan Housen. It is I, Dan Housen, it's Dan Housen. Okay, so it is 11 p.m right now. So it is the perfect time for a makeup tutorial, right? Perfect. That's exactly what I thought. So I'm going to show you guys what I use or what I'm using. You are free to use anything else that you'd like to supplement, to substitute. This is just what I have on hand. I am currently wearing makeup. So first things first, wipe it off. Okay, makeup's off. Let's get started. First, I'm going to start off with some primer and this is from Yensa Color and Face. It's a tone-up primer that is going to essentially make my skin glow. It's fine. So the reason that I'm using it is because it is a sticky primer and I do think that a sticky primer in this case would work the best because I am going to be using some face paint and I think that it'll help the face paint stick better. That's the only reason. Let's start. Okay, well... We should be fine. Also, I didn't go out of my way to buy new face paint. I bought this face paint a long, long time ago, okay? Could it be expired? Possibly. We're gonna find out and see if my face itches afterwards, but this is definitely why you need primer. Maybe I should put more on. Fun fact, I don't even have a picture of Dan Housen's face up. I did not think about this. <laughs> Okay, let me get my laptop. Hold, please, while I find my reference picture. So this is the reference picture. I found it on Instagram. It is birthday. This was for his birthday. I wanted to find the Rampage look that he had for All Out Weekend where he came out with glitter or sequins or rhinestones. I want to say it was rhinestones because... I have my rhinestone kit right here. We'll see what happens. Um, Dan Housen's makeup, I don't think is exactly the same each time. I got this palette on Amazon, I wanna say Amazon, and I haven't used it in like a year. It's probably over a year old. I wonder if I should put on concealer first. Cause this concealer is pretty pale. Well, it's on my face already, so let's put concealer all over my face and blend it out. And then I will put the white face paint on top. You guys are probably like, Edie, that's not how you do it. You're dumb. Well, this is my tutorial, so. Oh, I'm using a little um, gel sponge instead of a regular sponge because a regular sponge will absorb a lot of the product and the gel sponge will not and it will leave more of the product on your face. I'm not doing a great job blending guys, I'm sorry. I might blend out the white face paint like that. I'm really tan. I wonder how Dan does this because Dan is not tan. He's just very nice and very evil. Okay, I have a paintbrush that I found in my room from the arts and crafts that your girl does. So let's go in with this face paint and hope that it does not burn my face because it is probably expired. Oh, it's not coming on. What if I don't even have enough face paint and I'm just gonna be half housing? Oh, oh. Hold please. Hold please, okay. Are his brows covered? Okay, black. What did I use this last thing on? <gasps> okay, I remember. So, fun fact, guys. The last makeup tutorial that I did was Sting. And the lighting in that video was so bad that I just didn't post it. And I kept messing up on the eyes. And I was very insecure that everyone was going to make fun of me. But I did post pictures of it because I was able to edit the pictures how I wanted. Oh my god, my hair is getting in the way. It's not... Oh, well, this is gonna be black anyway. Okay, well, 
just gonna cover as much space with white as possible. Let's do the nose. Okay, I, if you guys see me looking off to the side, that's just because that's where I have the picture. For reference, I wonder how long it takes Mr. Danhausen to do this. Has he said it somewhere in an interview? I wanna know. I'm not worried too much about the eyes because I definitely have enough face paint for that, but I'm running low on the white. Can you guys believe that Hookhausen is no longer a thing? Like, I really wanted that tag team to work. I thought they were a really cool idea. Their skits were hilarious. You know who face paint I want to do? Jeff Hardy. But I don't think I'm that artistic. I don't think I'm ready for a, for a Jeff Hardy look. Like I said, you don't have to worry too much about the eyes because you're going to cover them anyway. Same thing with the lips. Okay, moving on to the next step. The next part is the black. Okay, I'm going to use this different paintbrush that I had. So two paintbrushes, people. One to apply the white, another to apply the black. And then there's still the red, which I think I'm probably just going to use the same one or, you know, Either or, I'll clean one of them. And um, I have not used the red at all. So let's go in with the black. And I'm going to start with the chin area because I think that looks the easiest. Dan has a line in the middle right here. Great, it's a little thin. So let's just widen it up. Oh. Okay, hold on. I'm so scared. Okay. Um Okay. I just think, yeah, I needed it to have that shape. That's a little wide. I'm going to be wide housing. That's what I'm going to be. Jeez. Okay. I need another picture, sir. Where is it? Like by here? I'm so scared. Okay. We're just going to have to go for it for some of these. <sighs> Maybe I should use the other brush. Okay, because I'm a... I'm just a little worried. Okay, so I'm switching to this brush and you see the difference between this one that I've been using and this one that I'm going to switch to. Let's see. I want to say this one's going to work better. So... I think that's a little better. Okay. Let's try to make that even. It looks all right. No, it does go about here. So then just take that line and kind of make like an outline where the white is. And I'm going to start with the bottom. Also going to go in the forehead. Now his forehead is very straight. So, okay, so his hairline is very like straight. So I'm just going to create that illusion that minus two, okay? I'm gonna just sing the music because I don't wanna get copyrighted. Blend it out. Great. Loving where we're getting, okay. So I'm going to just do shapes because I feel like shapes is the right way to go on this. So Mr. Danhausen has like a little, okay, let's just do the eye first. Hold please. 
So his whole brow is gone too. Okay, so black here. Great. I'm going to see if I can try to get them to be symmetrical. Failing. Failing already. Love to see it. Um, and then there's going to be a line that goes up right here. And then goes up. And then goes up over here. Honestly, what did I say, guys? Wing it. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's coming along. Now, let's do my eyes. So he's got it on top of his lid and also the bottom. And again, I feel like this section would be the, the one where if you really wanted to, you could use your finger. How does he have it? He definitely has got eyeliner on. There's no way he put face paint in his eye. Okay, so this is where it's like a little sloppy. Now extend this up to cover up any more um, skin that's showing. And there's, he's got a, he also has like a little wing coming out here, which that's cool. Okay, cool. One eye done. Let's move on to the next one. Again, cover your lid, go under your eye. Okay. Okay, you can bring this a little forward to make it a little more square oh he's got the nose contour going on so it's just one line where your nose line would be so I did one there and I'm gonna do one on the other side cool so one over here one over there awesome and Again, with the black, just make sure it connects on the side of the face. Cool. And over here, too. Okay, so now with the same brush. I'm going to clean it and go in with the red. Oh, my lips. Okay. No, I have to do that with the lip liner. Okay. So great. Cool. 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 Awesome. So, so now I'm going back in with this thin brush that I was just using. Oh, it's still got some paint on it. Hold, please. Okay, so going back in and now doing the red, which should be just around the eyes. And he's got it like under and to the side. So let's do that. Under... and then the sides now I'm going to wipe after each swipe of red that I use just because it is picking up the other colors so for all out guys on the top of here he had rhinestones so I want to do that let's see if it comes out. Okay. He's got on the side. And I have to draw this little black line too, I forgot. And he's got it. And I'm just gonna use the other brush for that. 
is just a little line. It's fine. Cool. Okay, so I am going to put a little bit of red at the top because I want it to guide me for when I put the rhinestones on. Okay, and I just want to make these lines a little bit more pointier. So I'm going to go back with the pencil. Cool, cool, cool. Now for the rest of the eyes, I am going to use my Tarte Double Take pencil and color in my waterline for it. Now, let's add the rhinestones. Okay. I'm adding the rhinestones that I got from Amazon with eyelash glue. So what I'm going to do first is just on just uh, I'm going to take the eyelash glue and literally just put it on my face and then I'm going to throw this eyelash glue away. Okay, so don't come at me for the eyelash glue. If anything, come at me for the expired face paint. Okay, so I'm just going to put a line right there. Maybe I should just put, maybe I should do a bigger line. Okay, so I just covered up the red with the eyelash glue. And I'm going to do it on the other eye too. So then I could just go ahead. Oh, I don't have my wax pencil. Shoot. Okay, I'm going to use a sticky note. Try to dry this up. They are of an okay size, I believe. Okay, I'm just gonna put them on with tweezers. So, one by one, let's do this. Do you see that? Oh my God, let's continue. You know what I'm just thinking about? I should have done them one eye at a time because now that other side is gonna dry okay it's getting sticky like very sticky so i'm gonna try to do this as fast as possible and as even as i can okay come on wax pencil would have came in clutch okay let's try with my hand there we go again trying to dry it Let's not do both eyes at the same time, Edie. Jesus. Okay. My tweezers. I'm grabbing the rhinestones and just putting them on. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You guys seen that teen? You guys seen that TikTok? Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's giving. It's giving. Okay. Dan Housen was, was on to something when he said, Lap my eyes up. Or I'll curse you. I'm sure that's how the conversation went. I'm not going to do all of the red, but I just thought it looked really, really cool when he did it. Oh, this looks awesome. Okay, I am going to do all of it. Okay, from like the corner of my eye, I can see sparkles. How cool. Also, if you don't want the sparkles, you don't have to put the sparkles. But Dan Housen will put the sparkles. Just saying. I think this could, he might have also had sequins. It might have just been something sparkly. But, um, that looks so cool. Okay, next eye. Oh, 
that one fell. That looks so cool. Okay, I'm gonna just finish up this little red part over here. And ta-da! Here is the final Danhausen look. So these are the rhinestones. Uh, you can put more of them on. I can show you what that looks like in one second. But you don't have to add the rhinestones. It's completely fine. You're totally fine if you don't add them. But this is what I thought looked cool. So if you want to see what it looks like with another layer of rhinestones, hold please while I put another layer on. I think this looks so cool. Okay, so this is the final look. I think it looks so cool. I love the rhinestones. I think it really glams up the Danhausen effect, which I, I'm i gonna find the picture where he came out with the shiny gems or the video because I think literally it was so, so cool. Amazing. 10 out of 10 on this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, this is very nice, very evil. Dan Housen.